I've been using the Scuff Impact with adjustable hair triggers and regular bumper system for about six months now. And I thought it would be a good idea and order me an additional Scuff Impact with digital bumpers and digital triggers to see if there's been any competitive advantage uh, added in my gameplay with the digital uh, system uh, as far as it goes with bumpers and triggers. Uh, let's go ahead and compare the two. Uh, this video has been made strictly to help you in your purchasing and build out options if you're considering a scuff system and are wondering what digital uh, bumpers and triggers add to your gameplay and what types of games those will work best with. Uh, as well as if the, your gaming style kind of falls in line with what I, how I game. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the digital bumpers and triggers first, and then we'll talk about what the advantages are and the disadvantages are between the adjustable hair triggers and regular bumpers as far as digital bumpers and digital triggers. First is the physical appearance of digital triggers and bumpers. You will not be able to customize the color of the bumpers if you go with a digital bumper. The same goes for the trigger. There's no added uh, color or anything like that. What you see is what you get on their builder. They may or may not add customization options to where you can change these colors, but at the time of this video, that is not a possibility. The next thing that you're gonna notice is that this is pretty much a standard PS4 uh, controller trigger as well as a bumper, but when you click it, that is a full actuation in trigger motion. It's literally a mouse click. So this is gonna work really well for first person shooters. So if I be quiet for a moment and click it, it's zero to 100 real quick. Same goes for the bumper. It's a button click and it's full actuation and you're gonna get action out of that. So this is gonna work really well for you Call of Duty players out there and is going to help you aim in and fire really, really quickly. So I will say that I really enjoy the digital triggers and bumpers, but it's because I play a lot of Call of Duty and that's primarily what I play. And this works really well for those types of games. So the thing is, is that if you do racing games or anything like that, where you have to have graduated presses, this controller is going to be a very bad uh, option for that because it's zero to 100 and there's no you know, play in that. So this isn't gonna work well for those of you out there that are racing game type players or anything like that because you're gonna get, it's gonna be you know, no gas to gas 100 and you're not gonna be able to make any adjustment going around turns or anything like that. So I would say that digital bumpers and triggers are not gonna be for those of you out there that are racing game types or uh, any other game that requires that you have graduated presses. So since we've taken a pretty close look at uh, the digital bumpers and trigger system on the scuff controller, let's go ahead and look at the adjustable hair trigger options. Moving right along into comparing the regular bumper and adjustable hair trigger system to the digital ones is that you're gonna notice a physical difference right away because L1 and R1 are color customizable on scuff's online builder. You can also add a different color to L2 and R2 with uh, different caps because these are actual caps over the adjustable hair trigger system built into this controller. If we turn it over to its side, you can see the bumper is more of a mushy, soft touch type of thing. So full actuation is pressed all the way down. You can kind of half actuate it and use it in that fashion. Bumpers are a little bit weirder and when you th think about like graduated actuations, uh, but with this, it's, you know, you can half press it and kind of press it a little bit and you can see how mushy the button is in comparison to the digital system. Moving on to the trigger system, you can see Scuff has this nice little lever that you can adjust with your thumb or use their included key, which is something that you'll get with a purchase of a adjustable hair trigger system with your Scuff controller. So this is just a 0.9 millimeter Allen key that you can adjust the hair trigger system or just flip this thing up and down with your finger. It depends on if you have nails or not. And I don't have any nails, but I have no problem in flipping this up or down. And that's gonna allow you to get full actuation realization with the trigger system. Or if you wanna flip it around, so let me flip this around real quick, see if I can get it on video for you. And as you can see, it's a little bit troublesome and cumbersome if you don't have fingernails, but if you had fingernails, it would allow you to do this rather easily. Uh, you can see that this has been moved into the down position. So there's a lot less play there. So that's the adjustable, that's the beauty of the adjustable hair trigger system. Uh, when I was talking about being able to remove this cap, you can take this off 
and change the color. So these caps uh, come in either a regular size or Scuff includes these elongated covers. So you can literally snap this on for uh, prime actua actuation with like racing games or whatnot and you can put your thumbs way out or this works with like those people that play claw. I couldn't do it, but if you're like a claw type, you can get a good uh, actuation on your adjustable hair trigger. There's another benefit of the adjustable hair trigger. So if I remove this, if I remove the cover, you can see there's that little Allen bolt right there. This is for you to insert this Allen key into it and you can adjust even further how far the actuation is in a game like uh, Call of Duty or your racing game if you want. Quicker response times, you just adjust this little Allen bolt on the trigger system and that'll allow you to have quicker uh, realization of 100% actuation of the trigger system. That in and of itself is really clever implementation of uh, customizing your trigger system on your PlayStation or PC controller. I really like that. The thing with that is, is that you're going to want to have the game loaded up. You maybe go into a private lobby or something and make changes to it. Because when I first got this controller, I did it too tight and I was, my uh, character was always aimed in and I never really got to run or do anything and barely tapping it was already like firing rounds down range or aiming in really quickly. So you're going to want to consider your type of gameplay. And um, if you're a, a quick shooter and stuff like that and you like to play other types of games, the adjustable hair trigger system is something that I would recommend to you. Um, I would stay away from the digital systems because it's only uh, those types of uh, systems are meant for people that do first person shooters only or competitive. And I'm trying to get a little bit more competitive and start like a gaming stream and stuff like that. So that's why I'm trying out all these new custom uh, controllers. So the adjustable hair triggers is basically a best of all worlds and is something that you would want to consider if you do play those different types of games. And you can customize it a little bit more. Uh, it's more conducive to your type of gameplay and your type of games as well as fitting those different types of games really, really well. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but these little covers are color customizable as well, so you can change the colors out on those. So if you're like a customized beast or uh, something that, you know, somebody that likes to customize your controller more with colors and, uh, and different variants, the adjustable hair trigger system is something you're going to want to have instead of the digital trigger system. Let's take a look at the two side by side. Uh, you can see that the bumpers are a lot different. There's a lot less play in the digital system than there is in the regular bumper. And you can see that there's a lot more press in the adjustable hair trigger system. But I will say that I get a full actuation in game at about right there with the adjustable. And that's about the same movement with the digital trigger. The difference is, is that I tend to press the button all the way down. So there's a lot of more movement in my finger when I'm uh, trying to get that full actuation. And uh, with this, there's not that much movement. So uh, it's a lot easier to get, uh, so if I have a fully automatic weapon in, in game, it's a lot easier to tap shot with this, the adjustable hair trigger, because it's not you know, 100% right away than it is with the digital trigger system. Uh, the aim in system is much better with the digital, because I aim in really, really quickly and I don't need to like half aim in or anything. Uh, but when it comes to firing, I, I prefer the adjustable hair trigger system. Aiming in, I uh, definitely prefer the digital, uh, but with this, uh, the firing is much, much smoother with this and I could get much more accurate shots with the adjustable hair trigger. It's just a lot quicker with the digital. You can hear the difference. So if I get closer, there's no sound in the adjustable, but there's a very distinct click with the digital. So with that all being said and being laid out to you on camera and as close to as possible as a comparison between the two, uh, I would say that I prefer the adjustable hair trigger system only in the sense that I have other games to play. With this, I definitely prefer the digital triggers and bumpers in Call of Duty. It's just way, way more accurate and it gets me uh, it gets my rounds down range a lot quicker than if I was using an adjustable hair trigger. So if you're a gamer like me and primarily play Call of Duty and are trying to up your game or whatever, um, I would definitely recommend the digital system. But with one caveat, you don't play any other games with this because it's not going to be a pleasant experience when you think about like racing games. It's just 
It's just not going to work for that type of environment. And it's just not going to be really, uh, it's not going to be something you're going to enjoy. Uh, I think that concludes this comparison between the digital system and the adjustable hair trigger system on the scuff controller more specifically the scuff impact for playstation 4 and pc i would like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below what would you prefer a digital system or an adjustable hair trigger system or just a default system because you can go with neither and not have uh, adjustable triggers or digital triggers and in that sense i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend ordering a custom controller if you're not going to take advantage of the customizability of those types of things and you know i, I think you, if you're going to spend that much money anyways i think you should opt for a little bit more customization on your controller system so if you're interested in pricing and availability of the scuff impact i'll be leaving some links in the description you can uh, order some ready to ship scuff controllers and you'll save quite a bit for a tricked out controller system and that's what i would recommend that you do full disclosure scuff didn't sponsor this didn't send anything out to me i purchased both of these controllers with my own hard-earned cash and this is my own thoughts. I just thought it would be a nice opportunity for me to share with you uh, the differences between the two systems. I plan on doing a full review of uh, the Scuff Impact and comparing the two in that review to see how they hold up over time. Like I said, I've had this one for about six months now four or five, six months now, and it's held up really well, and I really enjoy using it. If you're interested in purchasing a controller like this from Scuff, uh, hit the links in the description. You'll probably find a better deal there. Uh, like I said, I'm not affiliated with Scuff. They didn't send anything out to me. I'm just doing this video to help you make a purchase decision if you're considering a customized professional controller. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas, and I will catch you in the next one.